I'm sorry, I was talking to my father. Okay. So we're conducting the hearing virtually using Zoom. And the attorney for defects, Mr. Skravonik, is here. The attorney for dad, uh, Mr. Hales, is here. And his attorney, Ms. Crane, is here. The um, attorney and guarded ad litem for the children, Ms. Miller, is here. The two children are there with the dad on his in his uh, location on the Zoom call. Uh, the maternal grandmother who has placement of the other child, Ms. Kirkland, is here. And the mother, Felicia Puckett, is here. Um, and the case manager, Mr. Turnipseed, is here. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Skabronik, and um, bring us up to date on these two young people and their case with the department. Just a quick question for the court, Your Honor. Um, so I know this has been an ongoing kind of issue with the clerk's office. Uh, Ms. Puckett is here, but her counsel, Ms. Hodges, Ms. Risher, um, is not here. Um, and Ms. Risher thinks she's out of the case. The clerk's office told her that she is not out of the case. And in fact, we have a termination coming up as to the other child in about two weeks. So does the court want to proceed with Ms. Puckett being pro se then for today? For today's purpose, uh, that... She did not have an attached certificate of service to the her original motion to withdraw was filed a while back. And so I had the clerk instruct her that I had to have proof that she she said she sent an email way back. Uh, I've not received any communications from Ms. Puckett um, objecting to her withdrawal. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Ms. Puckett, I think sometime previously you asked me to give you a different lawyer but I may have you confused with somebody else. Was that you? Yeah. Um. Yes, but that was way back in like the beginning of the case, like within the first year. And you told me that I had to maintain with Ms. Richard. Ms. Richard did send me an email like September the 8th stating that she would get me a new lawyer. And I asked her if she could either give the new lawyer my information or anything like that because we had this court date today for the 26th and I never heard anything back from her since then but since this is a review on Mr. Hales I just figured that I was here in the capacity of being Trish and Trinity's mom. Yes that's right but we we have not forgotten the fact that Miss. Risher has retired from practice in law, and uh, I asked her to stay on and handle this case, and she said she was not able to do that. Um, I don't know. We have we don't have anybody left on our list to assign to you. We've asked people who have started doing some juvenile work, and they didn't feel like they had enough experience to handle a TPR. Um, but I'm not going to expect you to go to trial on that case without a lawyer. I do need to make sure that you're still eligible for not having to hire your own lawyer. So I need to ask you about your finances. But um, what I may have to do is um, poach an attorney from an adjoining county who does juvenile work. And I don't know how successful law will be. But, you know, I could pick somebody off the street who's never done this work before, but I don't <laughs> think that would serve you. Um, no, no. So, um, I mean, I, you know, lawyers are, can become versant, conversant in this field. It's not, it's not rocket science. But um, anyway, so I, 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 I don't, um, I don't know exactly what we're reviewing today other than the status of this placement that I already made. I think you objected to it at the time and I overruled it. So I think we're just checking on how things are going. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to put you on trial for your TPR without you having a lawyer. Okay. Okay. I did not, Ms. Richard didn't tell Ms. Hodges, whatever her name is now, did not relate to me that she was out there finding you a lawyer. Did she tell you all that? <laughs> Robin and, the, and Jessica and the clerk's office have been dealing with this and They've not said that she said anything about that. I guess she meant that by her getting out of the case, 
she was getting you a new layer. <laughs> but that's it takes a little more than just one. We we have like three people right now on our list, and the other one that would be available was involved in your case earlier on with one of the somebody else. So I can't give it to them, and um, so that's all the people we have. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna try to have somebody that can be here with you on the, uh, what did you say? It was the 11th of October is the TPR? On the 11th. Okay. I'll see. We're going to have, to, I'm going to, when we get through with court this afternoon, I'm going to um, contact some judges in the local, in the adjoining circuit, the Griffin circuit and uh, Clayton circuit and see if they have uh, private attorneys who do on contract basis and will and have experience with this and could help us. Okay. Okay. So you're okay to do it, handle yourself today? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, do, maybe, I want to make sure we have your current contact information. I've got, um, you're still in Indianapolis? Yes, sir. Now, you told me you were trying to move to South Carolina, didn't you? One no. No, I had a, a family situation pertaining to other kids, but I'm not moving there, no. Okay. But did you say you might be doing it one time? No. no. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe it was you were trying to get the kids from South Carolina. Yeah. 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 <laughs> did you do that? Yes, I did do that. Okay. All right. So... Tell me what your current address is. While it's on my mind, before I forget it, are you currently employed? Yes. Where do you work? Amazon. How much do you make? I make sixteen seventy five now. An hour. But how long? Do, uh, how many hours a week do you work? I work forty hours a week. You get any overtime? No, but I get paid monthly. And how many kids under 18 live with you currently? Three. The child that was with you and then you got two from South Carolina? Yes. And how old are they? Uh, 13 and 12. And how old is the baby that's with you? It's not a baby anymore, but <laughs> younger. Three. Three. He's three. Okay. Uh, anybody, any other adults in the household? No. You have any other income for yourself for those three kids? So um, yes, um, uh, yes, I'm the beneficiary of my twelve year old and my three year old. Okay, so you get what SSI? You get yes, uh, I get survivor SSI. benefits or what? I get SSI. I get nine fourteen a piece for the both of them. So that's eighteen twenty eight a month. Yes. Plus you get uh you make about twenty seven hundred dollars a month from Amazon. Just counting it in my head, multiplying you, it. You can give it to eight. Yeah. That's the it's six that's before taxes, right? Yes. Yeah. What's your net check? You say you get a check once a month. What's your net check? Be. Um, like total, yeah. I mean, it varies with my hours. Well, you said you get forty hours a week, so it, it should be close. I understand you may it may get you may miss a couple hours, or you may get a couple hours of overtime. But just give me the average of what it would be a month that after taxes. Is that um, twenty seven hundred forty. So you get you got about forty two hundred dollars, and there's four of you. And you said there were no other adults, right? Yes, sir. Nope. And no other benefits besides the, the social security that you just told me. Was that survivor's yes, benefits or SSI because they're disabled? SS SSI. Okay. What's their disability? My twelve year old is diagnosed with autism, and my three year old is diagnosed with apraxia. Okay. What happened? To, wasn't there another child in South Carolina? Oh, you got both of them. Yeah, I have a third. You just don't get too. Social Security for one of them, right? 
Yeah, so yeah, just I only get it for two. I don't get it for my 13 year old. Well, believe it or not, you make too much money for an appointed attorney. A family <laughs> of four, the net income shouldn't be uh, to be eligible, has to be $2,729 a month. Yes, sir. You do what, fall what, within. What, what, Two hundred percent of the property 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 guidelines. You would, somebody mute your mic, please. Somebody's talking. You would be responsible for uh, seventy five percent of your fees. But um, you got any money saved up? Uh, I pay my own rent, my own utilities. I take care of three kids. So I mean, so they, what's the answer to the question? Do you have any money saved up? Oh, uh, not right now. Yeah, no money in a savings account and under your mattress and a cookie jar. <laughs> no. All right. Well, uh, given the time of when this case is coming up, I'm, I'm going to still assign you an attorney. I may put you on a payment plan to pay the county back for part of it based on what you looks like you show. Okay. 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 All right. Go now, Mr. Kavranik, go ahead. All right, thank you, Honor. So this wait, is wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, Miss Puckett. One more thing. If we need to get in touch with you by phone, you gave us the phone. Do we have her email address, Miss Robin? Thank you. All right, now, Mr. Skavonic, I promise I will not interrupt you again. All right. So this is the review from when we were in court on a motion for reunification that was filed by Mr. Puckett through his counsel, Ms. Crane. Um, we had hearings on that uh, issue on June 14th and June 20th, Your Honor. His name um, is Mr. Hales, I think. You said Mr. Puckett, but isn't it Mr. Hales? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, and um, the department objected to reunification. The court um, uh, ruled that reunification of, of Tristan and Trinity with Mr. Hales was appropriate over the department's objection and had returned temporary custody of the children to Mr. Hales and set this matter down for a review hearing as to the progress on the uh, case plan that Mr. Hales previously had with the department. And then also there were some other further things from the court that the court wanted as being done as well. Um, the first of which was that Ms. Kirkland was supposed to have the visitation uh, two weekends per month from Saturdays till 9 a.m. to Sundays at 6 p.m. It's my understanding from Mr. Turnipseed that those visits have been taking place. Um, with regards to the second issue that the mother be entitled to video visitation and establish a schedule and that the mother was to be entitled to in-person visitation with the minor children during the weekends. The children uh, currently exercise visitation with the maternal grandmother. Um, the department reports that the mother has had no in-person visits here in Georgia. She had scheduled one but canceled. She did see the other child, Chase, when Ms. Kirkland went to Ohio to see family in July. And the mother does have some contact with the children during their family therapy sessions. Um, that's the extent of what the department reports to me as far as the mother's contact with the children since June. Um, the department has, the court also ordered that the fathers to make the minor children available family therapy with the mother and the mother's family therapy service provider. It's my understanding that that has taken place, um, that Mr. Um, Hales is also continuing in his family therapy with the children, which is taking place on a weekly basis. The department further reports that Mr. Hales has been compliant with the department and making himself and the children available to the department. He has continued to maintain the visitation schedule with Ms. Kirkland, as I reported. Um, he has continued to have drug screens. I believe his drug screens are continuing to be positive for THC, which has been what we had ongoing throughout the life of this case, really. Um, let me see here. His most recent urine screen was September 5th, and he also had a hair follicle on that date, and those were both positive for THC. And those are the only drug screens that Mr. Hale submitted to since um, that we were last in court. There was an appointment made on July 6th for a urine screen, but that was shown to be a missed appointment. Um, the therapist for Mr. Hales has reported that he does not have any concerns about the children's well-being. 
and stated if, if the children remain in the temporary custody of the father and the department is relieved uh, from providing any further aftercare services that he would continue to work with the family. He has stated Mr. Hales has shown strong parenting skills, is willing to learn and accept his faults, and that they're working on listening and following the directions that the children have not expressed any concerns about um, being in the home with Mr. Hales, not disclosed any corporal punishment, nor have they disclosed any of the previous games that the court told the father not to play with the children. That was the, you know, the trunk is going to eat you, the cow is just going to eat you, those things that we had talked about at the last hearing. Um, and that is basically where we are at. Um, let's see here. Mr. Turnipseed, is everything I just reported to the court true and correct? Yes, it is. There's one other thing to add. Um, Ms. Kirkland and mom both did express that mom has been having contact with Chase um, due to their um, services being reinstated. She has been reading him bedtime stories and um, she has been having phone contacts with him as well. But that's only as to Chase. I'm where there were only as to the Trinity and Tristan. My question um, was about my report as to the mother's contact with Trinity and Tristan. It's only been video virtual contact in the therapeutic sessions, correct? Sorry about that. I always think about over That's okay. Just go ahead and um, tell me about Tristan and Trinity. Any other uh, contact other than the contact that Mr. Skavonic mentioned? So sometimes mom and dad can't have phone contact, but I believe they stop having phone contact between each other due to a uh, phone pantry and not kind of seeing eye to eye with them. I'm sorry, some, who's not seeing eye to eye? Parents. The parents, you mean mom and dad? Correct. Okay, I just, okay, well, folks, <laughs> it's easier said than done, but you're the parents and the kids are the kids and the parents have to work at it sometimes harder than you need to or should have to but it's important that mom have contact with these kids I'm, I'm not happy that she went up there and stayed up there but she's up there and that doesn't mean she doesn't get to see her kids or talk to them so Y'all need to put your differences aside and follow the plan that I've set out before about the contact. I mean, unless mom has decided she doesn't want the contact, I'm not, I don't generally make parents have contact, but if you want it, then you need to follow the schedule and both of you need to follow it. And put your differences, I mean, put it on the back burner. I'm not asking you to be best friends. I'm just asking you to facilitate your kids getting to see their mother and the kids getting to see each other, which is happening. That's great. And um, so we all work harder at that. Mr. Hales. I've tried to work harder at that. I talked to Mr. Turner seat about it um, at that time because my schedule was nights. Mr. Turner seat said that he would talk to Mr. Hales as far as letting me have phone and video contact with the kids outside of my family sessions. Um, between, I think they were supposed to be between 4.30 to no longer than 6 or 6.30 because at the time I was working from 7 at night to 5.30 in the morning. Mr. Tennessee did tell me that he expressed and he told Mr. Hales about that schedule, but it has not been really followed. My talking to outside of family session with the kids is sporadic. It's whenever Mr. Hales either have time or whenever he just allows me to have contact with them, but that schedule is not direct. It's more sporadic than anything. Well, I hate to break it to you, but at some point, hopefully sooner than later, but I don't know when, it won't be today, you're not gonna have Mr. Turnipseed to do all this running around for you. You're, they're gonna, de facto is gonna be out of this case. You two are the adults. You need to communicate directly with each other, be civil about it and 
you have a work schedule, let him know what your schedule is. Dad has a schedule. He has a schedule to feed the kids. He has a work schedule. He's got stuff. So y'all have got to give and take and work something out. The kids don't need to be on the phone with you at midnight. They need to be at a decent hour. And you have to keep the fact that they, they're at the age where they have some homework, they have other activities. You're going to have to have some flexibility. But this is something the two of y'all ought to be working out, not letting Mr. Turnipseed, he's got enough on his plate. I'm glad he offered to help you. And I don't mind him helping you do it, but he's not going to be there forever. And then what are you going to do? So Mr. Hales, I need the two of you to figure it out. I don't, I, if I have any more problems with it, I'm just going to set it down, black letter law, they shall visit such and such date, such and such time, and everybody has to follow it. Okay, I'd rather y'all work it out and have some flexibility, be civil about it. I understand y'all are not best buds, I'm sorry, but your kids deserve to not have to be in the middle of all that. So if we come back again and have the same issue coming up, then I know what to do, which is what I just told you I don't want to have to do because it takes out the element of flexibility for both of you and the kids. So you going to work on it, Mr. Hales? Yes, sir. Good. Mr. Pot, Ms. Puckett, you're going to work at it? Yes. Okay, thank you. What else do we need to? What else do we need to review? Your Honor, I don't know that there is anything that else we needed to review on this case. I do know about, I, I didn't get anything from Mr. Uh, Turnipseed about um, the uh, department wanting to be relieved of services uh, or of, it, of its involvement in this case. And I know that the court has said it's not inclined to do that today, but I would ask it, that in any event that um, it's been three months of aftercare since we've been in, in June. The children are doing well in the home of Mr. Hales, that the uh, service provider who is providing therapeutic services to Mr. Hales and to Trinity and Tristan has indicated that even if the department closes out its case, that he would continue to work with the family. So it just seems at this point, Your Honor, that it would be appropriate for the court to consider um, uh, relieving the department of any further involvement in this case, giving uh, the grant of temporary custody of the children, which you've actually done already as to Mr. Hales, um, and then just basically closing this case out. And then, you know, Mr. Hales and Ms. Crane can talk about what he would need to do um, as far as going into the Superior Court for a more permanent custody. I if this were, if there were not any other kids involved, I, I'd be more inclined to take you up on that. But I, you know, I, you know, DFAX is already involved with facilitating things about that other child and the child, that child having continued contact with these two older children. So it seems like it's, I know it's some extra, um, but I'm hoping that after my um, little speech that, the parents will take the bull by the horns and not have the need to rely on Mr. Turnipseed and just work it out and report to him when they've had the visits. I'm fine with that. And um, I would rather them, I don't, if the services aren't needed, I'm fine with, you know, I haven't heard anybody screaming and hollering for more services. Um, is, mom, is mom through with her therapy with the kids? But I, I know we can work. So, so mom's um, therapy has been removed with uh, their provider. The essay ran out, so um, they're about two weeks out from their last session. But they're supposed to have another session. Are you getting ready to renew it? Yes, I did already, and it's supposed to be scheduled for this week. Yes, sir. I look well, Thank you. Okay. Um, the... Um, Well, when are we coming back on, um, well, Chase is the one that's the subject of the TPR. Correct. Well. We're yeah. supposed to come back on October 2nd, which is Monday for a review too. 
And that's, what, that's just regular permanency review as to all three children. Do y'all want to have that hearing? I guess if we need to have it, I guess we need to have um, So th that was one of the questions that Ms. Hodges had raised as well, that we, you know, we were having these three hearings, right, in, in one after another. Um, I think for purposes of the Hales children, I don't know that, that we need to, but I think as for purposes of Chase, Your Honor, since that child is still in the department's temporary custody in order to remain in compliance with having, you know, the reviews when we're supposed yeah. to have them, I think we need to have it at least as the Chase. Yeah, I agree. I don't have any problem with having it. <laughs> I just thought if we could consolidate it today, I'm fine to just do that too. But, you know, the... I mean, I, we could... I, I didn't really make my notes as far as the mother's compliance because okay. it wasn't really that, that it wasn't what I was expecting okay. to be an issue. Okay, well we'll do, we'll wait. I, I don't know that what's October second is next Monday, isn't it? So I don't know that I'm going to have a lawyer lined up for her that quickly, but I'm going to try. But um, anyway, um, can, can I ask a question regarding the Trish and Trinity, please? Who's asking? I can't see who's talking. Ms. Pikey, the key is mine. Oh, okay. Thank you. I've got um, I can't tell your voice from Ms. Kirkland's. <laughs> um, well, when me and Mr. Hills do talk, and I did tell him that I was gonna talk to my lawyer, but unfortunately I didn't have one. Um, and I have talked to Mr. Turner Seed about it. Mr. Edwards has also inquired about allowing me to bond with the kids more, and that's as far as me and him coming to an agreement to allowing the kids to come up here on weekends or holidays or breaks from school mm -hmm. so I can bond with them. But I just didn't know I don't have any, unless, um, unless your therapist has some concerns, Mr. Turnipseed, you need to ask this therapist that you've reauthorized if their therapist doesn't have any concerns, then I'm okay with y'all doing that. But um, does the department have any concerns about that? I think she was referring to if that had custody and sending them up there to visit. Yeah, well, he does have temporary custody. So I'm saying like if you were leave the department today and mm -hmm. they decide during Thanksgiving break that the kids can go visit with her, I think that's what she's referring to. Well, unless the therapist has reservations about that happening, does the department have reservations? I am trying to get back with the therapist. She did say that mom created a bond with Chase, but I have to talk with her in terms of Trinity and Tristan. Okay. So to answer your question, I can't answer it today, but maybe I'll be able to answer it next week um, if he's been able to get in touch with the therapist, okay? Okay. Your Honor, I'll also confirm that Mr. Hales does not have any objections. He did not mention this to me, so I'll need to confirm that he is, in fact, okay. on board with that. Okay, well, that's, he, she just said that they've had these discussions right. privately. They could have had a change of heart, or they could have, you know. Anyway, I'm always interested in people talking directly with each other. So anything else we need to talk about today, and then I'll see y'all back um, in less than a week. Do Monday. we want to set a review date then, like in, say, 90 days or something like that, Your Honor? Sure. Let's put it um, 60 days since you were trying to get out from under the stuff. Maybe that'll be a little sooner. Um, so the very end of November, uh, Robin. Well, Judge, are we still going to have the TPR then? So that's another yes. question coming up on well, the Well, let me, let me say, it's still on the calendar. If I can round up a lawyer who has some experience in this stuff that can, you know, I may find somebody who can do it who's got a conflict and can't be available on that date. It's only two weeks away, two and a half weeks. Um, so um, right now it's still on. All right. Thanks everybody for your time and I will see y'all next. What time is next Monday? I think it's at eight o'clock, Your Honor. Bright and early. Are you on the same time, Ms. Puckett, in um, Indiana or is it central time? No, I'm on the same time. Okay. Uh, I, um, I won't be on exactly at eight because I take my 12 year old to school. So I don't get home until like eight thirty, nine o'clock. 
well, you may miss the whole hearing if you're not here <laughs> at eight o'clock. And that's the one you want I mean, to do. Unless, unless I could do it driving in the car. Well, no, while I'm no, in the no, car. No, but no. I was just saying. Well, y'all remind me that she said that because if we start at eight and we, we, we'll be through by 8.30. So we'll just have to hang out and wait for you to get here. But I have another hearing at nine. So I, I can't hang, can't wait on you forever. Okay. Uh, um, I want to just all show up at 8.30 instead of 8. Let me make sure Robin says, can we do that with the reservation or do you have to change it? Are you talking about for the TPR? Or the no, I'm talking about for Monday the 2nd. But if you tell me 8.30, you better be here at 8.30. Okay? Okay. I know that's what, but this is only the review about Chase. So hopefully we can do it in 30 minutes. Do you think we can do it in 30 minutes, Mr. Skavronic? I can do anything in 30 minutes, Your Honor. I hate beg to differ, but I've got that recorded though for future reference. <laughs> Three o'clock on November the 28th. Robin is looking to see if she can change the date. Does that is everybody okay with moving it to 8 30? 3 p.m. on the 28th. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm actually very much in favor of that, Your Honor. I won't be getting into Atlanta until after midnight on Sunday. So if you push it back, that's fine with me. And this is just as to Chase, right? On Monday. I, I would think yeah. so. That well, okay. and I've I've asked Mr. Turnip seed to talk to the um, the therapist that's working with Miss Puckett and the two older children to see if there's any objection to her request. If the parents agree to have some kind of um, Thanksgiving weekend or something, I don't know which weekend she was talking about, but um, I wanted that input since she hasn't had the the visits as frequently as we had anticipated. Okay, Your Honor, does Mr. Hales need to attend on the second since the main issue is the child that is not doesn't here. need to attend other than unless he has some input about that issue she said he, i'll i'll be here she said she and he had discussed this so uh if he has anything else to add to it he can come but i'll let you speak for him thank you okay then we all have to convene a midnight emergency hearing that night everybody's straight with what we're doing Ms. Packett, Ms. Kirkland, Mr. Hales. All right. Yes. Thank y'all for your time. So are we confirming 830 for the second? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I think so. <laughs> so, but can they use the same invite or are you sending them a different one? She says you can use your invite that you already have and sign in, you know, 825, 830, whatever. Mom. Don't get a speeding ticket, but please be on time, okay? Okay. Or the two parts All right. Yeah. We'll sign we off. We'll see you Monday. A month or two ago on the mother's motion for reunification, and it was denied. And I said we would revisit that issue. Um, does anybody understand that it's on for any other reason? No, sir. Uh, no, we're on Zoom and we have the attorney for defects, Ms. Waller, the attorney and guardian a lot of them for the kids, Ms. Miller, uh, the case manager, Ms. Wilcox, and the father, Adrian Clark. I don't see Ms. Nelson, the mom, and it was her motion. And I don't see um, Ms. Crane is not here. Um, she was just on the last hearing I had, the last Zoom hearing I had. Um, do you know where? Um, Ms. Nelson is, Mr. Clark. Uh, last time I talked to her, she said something about uh, getting the Zoom thing from uh, Ms. Wilcox. Okay. Well, we had some, it may be coincidence or maybe something has developed, but we had um, some correspondence that the clerk sent to her. Wrote and address. it was said attempted, not known, unable to forward. Has she moved from that residence? 
No, we're still at that residence. No, sir. Y'all have it split up or anything? No, sir. Okay. There's somebody named Zania Mackey. Do you, anybody know who that is? And maybe no, sir. Anybody know who that is? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Well, we're getting ready to find out together then. Judge, if I may, if I may, Sister Pete. Sure. Um, that is um, Ms. Zania McKay. She might be having difficulties where her office is situated. She is a new um, defects case manager, and oh. I invited her to observe this hearing. Okay. Um, she's new to the department, and she's in my unit. So okay. she's kind of been shadowing me, um, looking into, you know. Um, Why didn't you speak up when I asked who it was? Did you <laughs> She might be having difficulties of where her office is located in the building. Well, yeah. had plenty of time. I had two years to fix that. Over two years. I got some August screens on Mr. Um, Clark that were negative except for alcohol on August 24th. And then I got a screen just a few minutes ago that was emailed in um, from September 5th on Mr. Clark saying it was all negative. These are urine screens. Is that correct, Ms. Waller? Your Honor, the urine screen was negative. However, I also sent in a hair follicle screen for Mr. Clark. It was positive for both amphetamine and methamphetamine. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't turn far enough. I thought, oops, I didn't realize it was that thick. You're correct. I'm looking at that. Okay. And the mom's uh, screens were um the hair follicle was positive for amphetamines and methamphetamines from um, August 24th. And um, there was a urine screen. Am I wrong about that? Was there a urine screen also for her? Yeah, well, let's see. And then I've got one collected on August 18th. That was um, down at the bottom. It says positive for alcohol. I think that that was. Oh, that's dash. That's on Mr. Clark. Yeah, but I I thought there was a urine and I guess there wasn't. I guess it was the urine on him and a hair follicle on her. I believe it was just a hair follicle on her. She hadn't been screening since um, I think May or June. So Are this you, was the most recent um, we had. Are you tendering these in the evidence? I am, Your Honor. Any objection? Okay, they're admitted. No, sir. Well, I'm, I'm not in a position to return the kids to mom. She just bombed the drug screen. So um, what else am I supposed to review today? I believe that was it, Your Honor. It was the mother's motion. Are both of y'all working out of the home? I mean, outside the home, meaning you have you go to jobs during the day, Mr. Clark? Yes. Yes, sir. Where do you work? Uh, I work at Home Depot. I mean, not Home Depot, Dollar General Distribution. And I work at, uh, I work at, what's this, Stephan? I just started started a weekend shift at a warehouse uh, with Three staff, Mark. Uh, I'm letting one job go, like the one that I'm at today. This is my last day. I start Dollar General uh, distribution uh, tomorrow morning at orientation. Uh, that'll be my main job. And I got the weekend shift job working through staff, Mark, at Siva. Okay. When's the last time you visited with the kids? Uh, last week. Because it sounds like your work schedule such it's going to be hard for them to ever arrange for a visit. No, I just did this weekend shift because I needed the extra money. It's not going to be for long. Oh, okay. Good. Well, I, I, I can't, I'm not trying to tell you not to work. I'm just telling you that I there's, understand. Only, there's only so many hours in the day in terms of getting kids to, to school and whatever they need to be involved with. These are too young to be in school anyway, except pre-K or, or um, um, I understand, Yana. 
Cadrian may be in pre K. I don't. The, the other one's not old enough. Are they in daycare or pre K? They they were they are in daycare now. They were in daycare before. Uh, they were checking also. All right. Where does um, Ms. Nelson work? Uh, she's not working currently. She's with the baby, uh, but she's pretty much about to get a job. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, tell her we missed her. I don't understand why she didn't come. Maybe something happened. I hope nothing's happened that she's hurt or something. Uh, I might. I'm gonna have to make a phone call after this and see what's going on. Okay. I know they had visitation today earlier, uh, around eleven to one. So, did you get any rep report about the visit, Ms. Wilcox? Um, so visitation has been going well, according to the providers. They did um, this week starts um, their visitation for this week. However, they did have a visit scheduled for this past Saturday that was canceled by parents. Um, so yeah, I haven't had any complaints about the. Uh, Dad just said he was having to work this weekend. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I started that that where the weekend shift. Uh, I'm only doing it for like two, three weeks. So, all right, but you didn't hear anything today about any visit with mom and the kids having any problems or anything. Okay. No, sir. And all mom right. texted me about an hour ago to send her the court link, so I sent it to her and Mr. Clark. Mm -hmm. She must have gotten tied up with something, but um, you can take an order that I've um denying the reunification motion at this time and um, we're going to keep tracking to reunification it just may take a little longer but we need these screens to be clean um, um mr clark these um the hair follicles don't show us that you used something last night or the night before that you, they took the hair follicle sample it it takes it it picks up the residue from the drugs that you would have used within the last two, sometimes as far back as three months. Um, so the next time they take the, your hair follicle, there shouldn't be anything in it unless you're still dabbling with those bad stuff. But meth is not I, something you can be parenting kids with. Excuse me, um, Your Honor, I don't do drugs at all. Like no weed, no none of that. So I'm baffled with that situation. It's like it's somebody putting it in my food or something. I don't do drugs at all. Well, I might still I might sip on alcohol and stuff like that every now and then. Okay. Drugs, I don't I don't do drugs. I don't have no way to get the drugs. None of that. Well, and I swear on that. I rose my right hand. I swear on that. I don't do drugs. All right. Well, the, the next but, one should be clean. I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to question some things like how how is it happening? Mm -hmm. Like, can it get on me through a, a different method or something? But that's something else I'm going to have to figure out. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be, I don't know when the next, do you have a next hearing date? All right. Clark's getting ready to tell me when we're going to be back. November 13th at 10 o'clock, we'll be back. So just barely a month, a month and a half from now. Okay? All right. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, Judge. Bye-bye.